Good afternoon. For First Look, I'm Jim Axelrod. Coming to you today from the G8 Media Compound Center here in Germany. You know, uh, it's a little bit different than where we're usually talking to you from, which is uh, at the White House, of course. Today, on this uh, lovely piece of land on the, uh, on the German Baltic coast, we're going to talk to you a little bit about what was the most expected and highly anticipated meeting of the G8. That is the one-on-one -on -one meeting between President Bush and President Putin. There's been quite a build-up to this meeting because the president has proposed this missile defense system, which would have installations in the Czech Republic and Poland, among other places. Vladimir Putin didn't like that at all. In fact, he started to speak in uh, quite a hostile tone about the, the idea, saying that if the United States went forward with its missile defense system, he would be forced to train his offensive nuclear weapons on Europe. This was the back and forth that was leading up uh, to the G8. Uh, started to sound a little bit like the Cold War, or at least tones that were as resonant of Cold War rhetoric as anybody has heard in quite some time. Both men today, they met face to face and then came out obvious, obviously trying to lower the temperature, lower the tension level. They both came out, met with reporters, and talked about the constructive dialogue they had. However, President Putin threw a, a sort of curveball at the president, at President Bush, offering that if the United States would, uh, would, would not go ahead with its plans that involve the installations in Poland and the Czech Republic, as well as Denmark and the UK, that President Putin had worked it out that a radar installation in Azerbaijan could be used. In fact, he said he had already secured permission from the head of state there and that it could be substituted for President Bush's idea and then he wouldn't have any reason to point his nuclear weapons at Europe. So obviously we're going to be talking about this tonight on the CBS News. CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. We'll be talking about this and have an entire wrap of uh, today's events. So we hope you'll be with us tonight on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric.